Hello everyone, welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well today I just stop by to encourage us to be bold in Christ and to let us know that we do have power. Amen. Many Christians are um, timid and feeble because they don't understand the power that they had. They don't understand the authority that they have been given through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Luke 10 and 19 says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Amen. First Corinthians 15 and 57 goes on to say, but thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are victorious in Christ. Amen. So I encourage us to hold on to the word of God, right? Hold on to these promises in his word and let these promises in his word stir up the spirit that is within us, right? We don't have to continue to be fearful and timid, right? We don't have to consider ourselves helpless and powerless, right? Because scripture says Jesus Christ has given us authority and the authority that he's given us is to trample the scorpion and to trample the snakes. Amen. And so we can trample on the devil. Devil, that's the enemy and all of his demons, right? His entire camp. We have authority, we have power, and we have dominion over the enemy. Amen. And so, um, you know, God has given us the authority to overcome power, um, overcome the power of the enemy, right? So listen, it's not our portion to be fearless as children of God. Amen. Because second Timothy, as we know, says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love and a sound mind. Amen. It's not our portion to be timid Christians, right? So Jesus Christ, he is the Lord of Lord. He is the King of Kings. And he, again, according to Luke 10 and 19, has given us authority. Amen. He has given us power to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all power of the enemy. Nothing will harm us. Amen. So let that be the reason if nothing else, why we are fearless and why we are bold, right? Let that be the reason why we don't give up in the face of adversity. Things are going to happen. Life is going to show up. Storms are going to come, but we don't give up because we have power. Amen. And so, um, we gain strength, we gain courage and we gain boldness when we pray and when we know the word of God. Amen. And so when you think about power, you, when you think about, um, courage and strength, think about prayer. When you think about uh, prayer, think about the strength that we get from prayer. Think about the courage that we get from prayer. Think about the, the power that we, that, that we have in prayer. Amen. Um, so because as children of God, when we pray, that's when we are empowered. That's when we are empowered. Um, that's when we are rejuvenated, revitalized, if you will, more prayer, more power, right? No prayer, no power. Amen. So if you want more prayer, then that just simply means you just have to pray more, right? The Bible tells us that we have to pray without ceasing. Amen. It goes on to tell us that we need to watch and pray. And so that we don't fall into temptation, right? Because it says that the, the, um, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, right? So there is power in prayer. Amen. Prayer binds us with God. Um, you know, it is prayer that empowers us to live out, uh, uh, Philippians where it tells us that, um, we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Amen. Prayer empowers us to overcome temptation. It, over it empowers us to overcome temptation and the tricks and the schemes of the enemy. It builds character in us. Right. And so if we want to live a life, we, if we desire a life that is full of courage, that is full of boldness, that is full of strength, then we must know God. We have to get to know him by reading his word. So we need to know his word and we must pray. Amen. We must be constant and consistent in prayer, right? Because again, the Bible says, pray without ceasing. Amen. Amen. And so um, we need to devote ourselves to prayer and remember that we have authority, we have power, and we have dominion over the enemy. Amen. And our Lord Jesus Christ has given us that authority. So listen till next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional, 
love on purpose. Blessings. Mm -hmm.